we just got our top loading knees here and um, you see, would have seen the last video I did was adding uh, some mono output and some uh, composite output to it. Um, the one thing that's still missing that the uh, toaster version of the knees has is a power LED. So going to be a really easy video, um, very straightforward and hopefully not too lengthy. So with your top loading knees um, you're just going to need an LED, a 220 ohm resistor to drop the voltage down and um, you know just some usual tools so uh, some game bits, um, a drill, things like that and of course an LED um, with a colour of your choice. So um, pop the screws out of your knees and get the lid off and what I'll do is looking at the, um, the back side of the knees what we're going to do here is there's these two little tabs in here and basically just give those a press inwards just very gently like that and then you can actually pop the uh, power switch out. Now with this LED, I mean this isn't anything new, you guys have watched me do this to the Master System and you know uh, the uh, Super Nintendo Mini, so it's going to be the same sort of idea. Um, you can pretty much add an LED wherever you like, you can add a few LEDs if you want. Um, you guys have been watching my videos, you know I like to keep things kind of subtle. And I actually seen a NES done like this somewhere on the internet, I can't remember exactly where, but I really like the way it was done. So. I thought, well, we'll go ahead and do it the same way. So now I've got a button out, I'm just going to flip it over, and um, you can see just here there's that little notch. And um, it looks like some sort of plastic molding or something, maybe from where the Nintendo was held on the assembly line when they were doing a molding for it, perhaps, I'm not sure, but that there is where we're going to drill through. So I'll get you zoomed in and we'll pop a hole in. Okay, so now we're um, zoomed in, you can probably see. Um, this little notch that I'm talking about here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 3mm LED so accordingly I'm going to use a 3mm drill bit. Um, you can use a 5mm if you want but just be careful that by the time you drill a 5mm hole it's going to be getting very close to these edges and um, you don't actually want to weaken this. So what I'll do is I'll just very carefully pop a hole in. Okay, so as you can see I just took it really easy there because I don't want to put any pressure on this and weaken it any more than I have to. Alright, so uh, yeah, we'll see how our LED fits. Okay, so we'll just see how well our LED fits. So we've just got our 3mm here. So as you can see, that's a nice snug fit and it's actually kind of holding there on its own. Um, yeah, uh, we'll be able to add a bit of hot glue of course to secure it. We'll do that pretty carefully, but um, right, we'll move on to uh, wiring this up. Okay, so just add just a little bit of solder just to get us started. Okay, just space them out, make sure I'm not shorting. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue over the top of that just to make sure it's going to stay in place and um, insulate it as well. Alright, so we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue and we just want to make sure that our legs stay apart and it also gets secured in place. But at the same time, we've got to be careful not to stick our switch in place. But the good thing with hot glue 
is that it picks off pretty easy. So that doesn't look that pretty, but it will work. And what I'll do is I'll just let that set for a bit. And I'll just be able to quickly and lightly just make sure that it's actually going to be clear of our switch. Okay, so our switch still moves freely and our cable should be reasonably secure so we can carry on. Okay, so now we need to um, basically just attach our wiring. Um, if you uh, did the composite um, mod that I did the other week, um, basically you'll have a little PCB like this that you fit it in there and we actually have some spare holes um, which you can solder in to grab your power and ground um, from and for this machine this is what I'm going to do but um, if you're not doing the composite video mod um, or you've already done it and don't want to touch this board what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you where you can find 5 volts and ground on your motherboard but with the one thing you will need to do though is on your 5 volt wire you need to add a 220 ohm resistor just to drop the 5 volts down to you know around 3 volts so that your LED is going to like it. So I'll roll that footage now and then we'll carry on with how I'm going to do it. Okay so just looking at the back of the board now um, we're going to do a ground point so we've got this area here is basically an all the ground and we're going to attach our black wire for our ground so we're just going to Put a bit of heat onto this and get some solder onto it and attach our black wire. Okay, so that's our ground attached. And while we're here, we'll get our 5 volts attached. And if you look, there's a trace that runs basically just past where the ground is. And you can see this little blank area there. The first pin is where that it comes into contact with. As we we're going to get our 5 volts from, so add a little bit of solder and then just solder it on like that. Okay, so that's our 5 volts and ground done. Okay, so basically, the you can see where a red wire comes in, and there's a spare hole here. So, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in my 220 ohm resistor um, and I'm just going to solder that in place and then attach our 5 volt wire to that. Okay, so now we're just going to strap in our ground wire and then uh, attach the end to this. So I'll just cut off the excess. Just check everything's still looking alright. This one next to it looks like it's uh, kind of close, but on the right angle you can see it doesn't actually touch. So we've got our resistor there, so now I can uh, basically bend that forward and I'll be able to Rewrap the saw and just tap onto it. Okay, so looking at a board, basically there's another, our grounds will come down the same line. Hopefully you can see that alright. And so I'm just going to poke the black wire in there, give it a little bend over, and we'll just add some solder to that. Okay, we'll just trim off the excess. Okay, so our ground wire is attached in there, and uh, now we just need to add on our red wire, which is going to carry our voltage to our LED. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is just add on the red wire to the end of our resistor. So if you're, as I was saying before, if you're going to tap directly to the motherboard and you're only going to do this LED mod, when you add your 5 volts make sure you put this resistor in somewhere, somewhere along on a red line, whether you add it at the LED end or whether you add it at the motherboard end, but also make sure you give it a bit of insulation as well. So what we're going to do now is just put a bit of tape over that and um, yeah, we can give it a test. Okay, so now we've got our knees back together, you can't see the light at all. 
can't see we've mounted it, it's all hidden, so uh, we'll go and give the te this a test and uh, yeah, see how it looks. Okay, so we've got my game cart in here, um, and if we give it a quick test, there we go, all working. So on the viewfinder here, I can see that um, that's looking quite white, but um, in person it's actually um, a nice red colour, so the camera is just picking it up a little bit strange, but um, it is much more even and nicely lit in person, I can tell you that. But yeah guys, so nice little mod, very quick and easy to do, and um, yeah, it just um, gives you that little bit more functionality that the um, top loader was missing, so I hope you enjoyed it guys, and um, yeah, we'll see you again real soon.